Hi, I'm Andy Weinberg with Miller Welders. Today we're in Mooresville, North Carolina at Nitro Manufacturing. Danny, tell us a little bit about Nitro Manufacturing. We are a full service fabrication prototyping shop, full machine shop service, uh, welding fabrication, water jet cutting. We do a lot of industrial commercial stuff, but of course NASCAR is one of our biggest customers. Uh, short track racing, we make all kinds of components, pit equipment, uh, fixturing, surface plates, um, just about anything for a race car or, or any of the support equipment is, is, is what we specialize in. So a lot of those big pit command boxes, the tire carts, gas carts, a lot of that stuff you make as well? Anything that's in the garage area we, we pretty much handle. Um, as far as shop equipment, we're big on that as far as the surface plates, fixturing, test rigs, pull down rigs, uh, seven post systems. Um, we're, we're a full service uh, race prototype fabrication shop. So the project we're going to be working on today with the new Millermatic 211 is going to be one of Nitro Manufacturing's tire carts, typically used for pit support at the racetrack. Tell us a little bit about your cart and how it's put together. These carts here, we do it, of course, to keep the cost down. We water jet all the sides and pre-bend everything. Uh, we key everything so everything's lined up. Instead of having a, a big expensive fixture, we can key all the parts together. and. We also ship these across the country in pieces so the, the customer can assemble it themselves, weld it themselves, uh, saves on some shipping, and it, and it saves the customer some money too. Excellent. So this is just mild steel material? Yeah, mild steel. Um, they could be powder coated or painted. Uh, we can sell it complete with powder coated or we could sell it in a kit form, like I said, and the customer can weld it themselves. In a moment, we'll have Danny's son, Dick, weld this project up for us, but before that, let's talk about the machine settings on the new Millermatic 211. For this tire cart project, we set the new Millermatic 211 in auto set for eighth inch. Dick, why don't you tell us the steps of welding this together? Uh, well, we take our sides, our two center braces, and our quarter inch base plate. Uh, we'll get it clamped up, get it squared up, and then uh, and get it ready to tack. We've got keyways here, for our center braces and keyways here for our bottom brace so it eliminates uh, any lining up and then all you got to do is square it up and get it ready to tack. For this kit, if a home guy was going to be doing it, there's really no measurement involved. All the little keyways and notches, everything sits together almost like a little erector set. For sure. It just makes it easier on, uh, on their side for assembly and on our side so we can get it done quicker, get it out to powder coat and get it shipped out. So here we have our completed example of one of the tire carts welded with a new Millermatic 211. We've used the auto set feature on the 211 to adjust for the variance in material thicknesses. This is a, a, a what we call a late model tire cart. It has the larger base because of the difference in the sidewall on the late model cars versus the cup cars or Xfinity cars. It's a no tip when it's standing up straight, empty or full, it doesn't tip back. Uh, the balance points right, you can almost use it with one hand. For more information, pictures, slideshows, uh, check out our website nitromanufacturing.com. And for more information on the new Millermatic 211, check out millerwelds.com.